What's up, Zach? What are we doing today? Um, we're gonna power wash engine bay. Look how clean those coil packs are. You did a good job cleaning those up. I mean, you're not gonna see them, but they look they look fresh. At least they look clean. At least they look clean. Yeah. Then we see them. Imagine this like that. Oh, that looks so good, man. Especially when you get the new inlet for it. Oh yeah, the new top half of it. Yeah, and then with the head and stuff cleaned up on the RB20. Ooh, that's gonna look so good. The one thing is, I can't get these gaskets off. Like they're rough to get off. Like. And we can figure it out. That's not too bad. I was like tempted to take a wire brush to it, but I'm like, mm, yeah, that'd be the worst idea. I don't know. It depends. Anyway, oh yeah, Zach's been cleaning up this transmission. It's coming along pretty nice. If you guys remember what this back half looked like, it was disgusting. Like, absolutely caked. So, cleaning it up on that. It looked like this side. It looked like... There's a solid, like, inch of Yeah, that, but work. all over it is what it looked like. He's gotten it nice and cleaned up. It's not done yet, of course, but... No. Anyway, what we're doing today is we got my little portable pressure washer here. And we're just gonna, you know, pull the 300 out without any steering. And just pressure wash the crap out of this engine bay to make it look minty fresh for the swap so minty, minty. if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know about this build this the car is zach's 1984 nissan 300 zx and in it is uh rb20 so fun stuff right remember to like subscribe all that good stuff and we've got maybe follow or check out our we've got yeah instagram and tiktok it's pretty boring but you can TikTok always gets a little bit of early content, which is always, they get sneak peeks on TikTok, so, and it's Instagram. It's like a day early. <laughs> yeah, they both do, but. Anyway, we're gonna get this pulled out real quick and we'll be back in a second. Okay, you wanna start working on getting the power washer rolled? Yeah. All right, car's out. Zach got her nice and soaked in some degreaser. So now we're gonna start pressure washing, right, Zach? Uh-huh. You ready for this? I'll start on the passenger side because it's my side. Ooh, so we can kind of dry stuff up and see how it looks so mm -hmm. far. I like right in here. So now that we've got it soaked up, Zach's going to sit here and he's going to scrub all this built up dirt and grease on where the power steering rack goes and whatnot. Because the goal is to get this thing looking mint from when the RV goes in. Because like if you're going to have an engine out, you may as well just make the engine bay look nice while you're at it. Makes it a lot easier to at least. So basically what we're doing right now is Zach scrubs the dirt off and then I pressure wash it off. Because we're at kind of out of degreaser right now, so... We're working with what we got, which is a pressure washer and some elbow grease. Right, Zach? Yeah, we're gonna come into the back right over here and get back into here. Yeah, so if I just that, see, you just do this. Which definitely helps quite a bit. So we're gonna keep doing this for a while now. All right, Zach. Yeah. Right what have we done, Zach? We went and got soap. Yeah, we got more, we got de purple, more power. purple power degreaser. So we're letting it sit so we can scrub into it so we can get the rest of the grime off. And then the engine bay will be nice and clean. And then we'll also paint the rusted areas where we're not going to be welding for engine mounts, if at all. So it'll look pretty fresh, I think. You ready? Yeah. Also right where that bolt is right there, the little screw right there in the side of the fender. Where? Right to right there, like hold it down. Stop. All right, so we finished washing the engine bay. We also washed the rest of the car. So now all the windows and everything look super clean. I mean, I mean, it's still an ugly paint job, but. Yeah, but she's gonna be ugly for a while. Yeah. But the main thing is, the, uh, yeah. 
the whole engine bay. We got all this cleaned up. So then the next step is we're actually gonna paint it using just like some, I think truck liner, is that what we yeah, got? Yeah, Just to make liner. it nice and protected. And so that way it'll be easier to like clean oil and grease off of it and whatnot. But we also might eventually want to pull the brake booster off to make sure it isn't rusted through because there's some rust on the bottom of it. There's some rust on the bottom of it. But like, we also found something else out. So the clutch was never really working quite right on this thing. When I did have it running and driving, I had to uh, be really fast with it. And I think I found our issue. Yeah, I don't know why we never thought to check that. I think it was hidden by something, to be honest. Oh, even that fluid taste feels disgusting. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna basically, like along there where you can start to see some surface rust. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's gross. Along here you can see surface rust and along there, we're gonna basically get that cleaned up and then we're gonna paint it. And then eventually we're gonna paint the whole engine bay. Just a nice consistent color, just so that way it's consistent. That way well, when the RB's in it, it'll at least By consistent look. color we mean we're gonna do, bottom half is gonna be truck liner. So from frame rails and down, it's gonna be truck liner, but from here, up on all the fenders and everything, it's gonna be the same color as the body. Well, eventually. I'm talking about just for sure. the immediate future. Because you don't want a nice looking RB20 in an ugly engine bay. Yeah, it's gonna be rusty though, a little bit. Just not too well, bad. that's why we're gonna try that. That's why we're gonna paint the rust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the engine is the diamond, the car in the engine bay is the ring. So, gotta have them all look nice, at least relatively speaking. Unless it's a sleeper, then you can just go full, you know. This looks so much better. Than I know, it looks me. so much better than before. And we also need to clean the power steering rack as well because it's kind of forgot to do that yeah right, let's just go take a look at that real quick see how that looks <laughs> so here is the power steering rack we're also probably gonna want to paint it to be honest it's actually not all that bad um your boots are working. working some grease along here honestly this might just be something that's better to clean by hand yeah realistically right. speaking so so i can probably do that in this free time though but for now she's actually looking really like <laughs> physically clean again there's a lot of there's the paint isn't the best and there's some rust a lot of rust but not as bad as, as the corvair was but the engine bay looks so much better i mean it still looks rough but it's so much cleaner than before but we're gonna make the engine bay look as good as we can for that rb because the rb is gonna be looking decent it's gonna the rb's gonna be looking really well, good that's after a little while that's true that's true but it'll still be gonna be red. the rb is gonna be super clean yeah. anyway uh we're gonna come back once we know what we're doing are we gonna snort some paint today zach that's what you well, can do. You guys are going to see his technique. Boom. Done. Oh. So what are we doing, Zach? We're going to scotch fright this real quick and then just clear coat it so it doesn't rust any worse. And then on the frame rail and lower, we're painting it, right? Yeah. Cool. I already got the wires tucked out of the way, so. Yeah, because up here eventually is going to be body colored, so we're just going to clear coat it for now so it doesn't rust further, right? Yeah. Cool, dude. Maybe one of these days we should Cut the rest of that. drain that off the rest of the way and make it look good. So Zach, look how clean, look how shiny that is right now. I did. <laughs> so we're putting the coating on that, right? Clutch system's gonna be replaced, right? Yeah, cause something was leaking at some point cause there's no fluid so, in there. So we don't really care. Too afraid of the amount of paint gets on that anyway, so. I'm gonna actually do this better. We're gonna do it the right way. We gotta mask it off, all right? So we're gonna mask off the upper side so that we only get to here, because we're gonna keep up there. It's more, more. Wait, what about like way back? What about like? Are you gonna clear coat back there where it's all rusty? I'm going to after the. Okay. Of the Just gonna do this. Okay, that makes sense. So you're gonna mask off first, I guess. What, Zach? Why did you? Why did I you wrap it, it the, around? I'll that? do it the other way. Okay, let's see if Zach can do it the right way this time. Look, you see how easy that is? How you don't have to coil it around? You know you want to move? <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, everything's all nice and tapped off. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You know, I've put clear coat on this car before. On the X, on the posterior. Yep. Impressive coming out of there. Oh my gosh, it's aggressive. Man, look at, wow, look at that shine. So here's Zach's side that he did, and here's the side that I did. Eventually, 
this whole thing is gonna be, the whole engine bay is gonna be sprayed. This kind of cover stuff from this frame rail down. Cause Zach wants to do, color up. he was basically Zach wants this whole rail here to be the division between truck line or undercoating and body color. So that's what we're going with. Right, Zach? Yeah, that stuff just comes out so aggressively. Yeah, it smells really bad. You guys have never used this stuff before. Uh, don't recommend. Don't recommend. <laughs> and then now we just got to clear coat the areas that like are just are rusty. That are going to be body colored eventually, but are just rusty right now. So that will probably just do that from here on out. That's probably going to be the end of this video. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, follow our TikTok and Instagram in the description, and see you guys next week.